Well, in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can easily create an AI video with your own face and voice using Gemini and the video models. So this is one example that I just created based on this photo. So take a listen to this video because I was using my own voice. Hey, if you want to fix your shoe or need a pair of custom made boots, just come to our store for a free consultation. All right. so. I'm going to show you how you can exactly create a, this type of video where the person is basically your own voice and also the voice is your own voice. Now, we can generate a video using the video model from Google based on any photo. But when it comes to voice, we have to rely on a third party tool. But don't worry, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do it. Okay, first, you must prepare your own photo. Now, I actually converted this photo into this photo using Gemini. So let's go to Gemini and you have to upload your own photo. But in this case, I'm going to be using this person again. Let me just copy and paste that into Gemini. Now, after that, you can insert a this from so this is a prompt that will transform your selfie or your photo into something that looks more professional basically you can specify what is the industry that you're working on so uh, the angle of this video is we're trying to create a personal branding video or perhaps something that you can use on your cv or portfolio so right here in the prompt you can specify what is the industry that you're working on let's say in this case i want to make uh, this person to be working in the videography industry videography industry and there you go that's the only thing that you must change in the prompt and after that click tools click create images and send the message by the way i have i never bored uh, mentioning in my video but basically when you are uploading a photo in gemini it will affect the aspect ratio of the output pictures so if you upload a vertical photo then the output will also be vertical just bear that in mind when you are using gemini anyway uh we got uh, this photo i think it looks decent now i'm going to download this to my computer and after that we can navigate to google flow so just navigate to flow dot uh sorry uh, labs.google slash fx slash tools slash slash flow I'm, I'm going to leave the link in the description and uh, by the way, you can also use Gemini because in Gemini, there is a feature that lets you create a video. But in Google Flow, you actually have a bit more control. So uh, I'm going to go with Google Flow. And let me just create a new project. Okay, so here uh, you want to select to uh, frames the video and then upload the video or the photo that you just created with Gemini, which in this photo and just click crop and save and by the way feel free to select the aspect ratio for the video i'm gonna stick with the landscape aspect ratio now just wait for the photo to be processed because usually google will check and make sure that the photo is not violating any policy of or agreement so uh, we have to wait a bit more there you go now I'm going to make a video where this person kind of asking a surface, like asking his surface to create a video. So let's say I'm going to be making the prompt like this. Uh, make the person says, sorry, talk to camera. And then uh, the text would, is going to be, hey, if you need a professional video uh, editor, just hit me up and I'll see you soon. And then I do recommend to specify that you want to use static camera. It is not necessary, but to maintain consistency, I like to use a static camera. Now after that, you can click this and then select the aspect ratio, select the model. I think the VO 3.1 model, the fast version is enough. And for the output per prompt is just one video. Now just send the message and wait for maybe about one or two minutes for ai to generate a video based on that photo okay so the video has been created let's see how it goes hey everyone welcome back to the channel today we're diving into the latest updates for video editing workflows hey everyone welcome okay that's not what i would imagine yeah, I don't know what's going on, but it's not the script that I mentioned on my prompt. So I guess I'll just do it again. 
Okay, so this is my second iteration and I changed the prompt just a bit. So more or less it's still the same. And let's see how it goes. Hey, if you need a professional video editor, just hit me up and I'll see you soon. Okay, that's decent. I'm going to download this video to my computer. Let's select just the original size. You can use the upscale version, but usually it's going to smooth out the detail and just doesn't look good. I think it's better to have a, a native 720p resolution. Now, we can start using 11 labs to change the voice of the character. So just go to 11labs.io and then click login. And in this case, we actually want to use the voice cloning capability of this platform. And you have to be in the paid version of this platform. Otherwise, you cannot access the voice cloning feature. But after they have made some videos on how you can generate, oh sorry, how you can uh, get the paid version of it bus completely for free you can check that video on my channel now after that you can go to voices and click create or clone a voice and you can click instant voice clone and here you can provide 10 seconds of audio you can do it right now do the recording or you can also just upload some audio files that you have prepared before so in this case I, I guess i'll just do it now i'm going to click this button and i'll just record my own voice for the voice cloning feature okay let me just select the microphone okay well this is just my voice and right now i'm trying to make a video to tell people on how they can generate an ai video using their own face and voice with the help of ai like gemini and the video model from google okay uh, okay i'm going to just click next and usually it's going to be very fast like you can generate a clone in just a few seconds let's call this one my clone one and the language is english description is not necessary so this is just some basic info they're not really necessary that you have to uh, describe it since i'm going to use this voice personally so that's uh, not absolutely necessary okay there you go i'm going to skip it and now we can navigate to a voice changer and then you can upload the video so i'm going to just drag and drop the video right here let me just do it right now okay now here on the settings you want to select the voice and let's go with instant voice clones and i'll select my clone one this is the one that i just recently created and for the model i'll select multilingual version 2 and the setting is just default setting and after that uh, you can just click generate speech now just wait for a few seconds and we can preview the result immediately okay let me play the audio hey if you need a professional video editor just hit me up and i'll see you soon okay there was a background music yeah i probably should have mentioned in the prom in the google flow that i don't want to have some background music but it is what it is so i'm going to download this audio on my computer and use it now unfortunately it's an audio format it is not video so we have to use another tool which is basically just any video editor to combine the video with the new audio you can use canva or CapCut, or perhaps filmora or perhaps if you want to be uh, as cheap as possible you can use microsoft clip champ that's uh, an editor that i do recommend if you want to get decent features but completely free so you can use it on the browser or on your computer but in this case i will actually just use filmora because that's the program that i have on my computer so i'm going to just drag and drop the video right here and the new audio right here so let's drag the video here into the timeline and then the audio now uh let me just play the original audio first and then we are going to compare it with the new one with the new audio hey if you need a professional video editor just hit me up and i'll see you soon okay i think we can actually cut the video in these sections because the rest is just music so uh, i think it's better to use the original music now let me just mute this and just unmute the or the the new audio Hey, if you need a professional video editor, just hit me up and I'll see you soon. Yeah, that's a good reason to actually uh, remove 
that section, the music section, that's just not natural. Okay, uh, I guess we have to cut this section. Okay, I have to detach it and I'm going to yeah combine the new audio. There you go, so something like that. So I guess I'm going to play the audio again. Okay. Hey, if you need a professional video editor, just hit me up and I'll see you soon. Okay, that's it. Now upload it, you can export the video and uh, you can use it on your project, you can use it on your portfolio, etc. So that's basically how you can generate a video using a Gemini and of course the video model in Google Flow using your own face and voice with the help of the 11 last voice playing feature. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day. Hey, if you need a professional video editor, just hit me up and I'll see you soon.